Hi, and welcome to a Punk with Toys. My name is Lawrence. Today we're going to take a look at the Valiverse Action Force Blowback. And this figure is a little different than other figures. And I don't mean as different as in how it looks or anything like that. So we'll get into that in a minute. So before we get started, take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and definitely hit that bell notification so you are notified anytime I drop a Valiverse video. And I can tell you right now, there's a bunch coming. So anyway, let's get into this. So, frankly, I don't know anything about the actual lore of Valibers. I don't read the comic. These are made to mix with my G.I. Joes. A lot of the figures are very, very much like G.I. Joes and fit with it. So anyway, what is different about this figure is, on the file card, it talks about him. And from what I can tell is he's actually not in the military. But he does have... Asperger's syndrome so it is something that they worked into the line into the lore and it's not something where they're going to try and poke fun at someone with Asperger syndrome so anyway that's what's different about this figure I don't know I don't think we're going to see anything that looks any different but I'm sure if you read the comic you're going to find something or I'm sure people kind of probably drop Drop some notes on it in the comments and tell me exactly what it's about. So anyway, let's take a look at it. And this is the special deployment series. There is on the side here. Nice artwork. Again, I like the fact that, as I mentioned, all the artwork looks the same. You have the figure in the front. Again, I don't need this much plastic. It's really glaring. But again, we're going to pop them out because you know what? Figures are meant to be taken out and played with. Here we have Action Force. In the back, we have the file card that's going to tell you everything about them. It gives you a little bio, and here's how the figure looks. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's open this up. Let's take a look at it, because you guys don't want to look at me. You want to see if you should go buy this. All right, so here we have the figure out. This is Blowback. I'm going to try and go a little bit quicker today. You guys, use, you guys know how that goes with me. So, but there's lots of, I've done a lot of action for us. Uh, video. So anyway, if you don't know about the Action Force, they have this cover that goes over, and they also have this plastic that goes over it too. I think it's overkill. I'm not gonna lie, but that's what he does. So quickly, if you watch my what what is it? The Infantry Commando is right here. He comes with all the exact same equipment, all the way down to his rifle being the exact same color scheme. So anyway, we'll quickly, we'll take a look at the rifle. Is there something different? Okay, so the paint app is different here. So instead of where it uh, ejects the, um, <laughs> the shell, it's going to be, it's black rather than silver. I think they're the same color. Yeah, so if you look at them, they're the same color. Matter of fact, they're coming off as a green, and they're really a beige. So here's the magazine. It does come out. And of course, it's a different color. That one's black, but they're all interchangeable, which is really nice. And the detail on these are absolutely wonderful. When you see this rifle as a toy, this is probably my favorite rifle that I have seen so far. I actually have a beachhead holding it, and I think he looks absolutely awesome with it. He's got the scope on it. He's got the handle. Never been a big fan of handles. But I think it works really well with this. And you have the suppressor. Looks real nice. Here we have the helmet. As I showed you before. It has, does have the night vision goggles. Which press right into the middle here. And they fit really nice. Here you have the ear, the ear covers. And they do come off. Well at least they're supposed to come off. Anyway, that's the first time I've had an issue. These things are, again, much softer than before. He definitely changed so much of his uh, plastic. I like the way these feel so far, or at least the infantry commando. So we can pop this on here. And there you have a communication speak communication speaker, a microphone. And then, I know I have the other piece somewhere around here, but 
there it is. Here's the other. Here's the other earmuff. And yes, I call it an earmuff because I'm in Michigan and it is cold right now. So, they kind of pop it on. I will say this, I'm not a big fan of this because it is two different colors. And I understand his color scheme is different, but it's not a big fan of that. Here's his pistol. Again, looks really nice. It's got two different paint apps, but does look nice. Gives it a different scheme. Different scheme. Everything looks a little different. This is me really losing it right now. As I mentioned, every single one comes with a stand. They got four pegs. And if this is like the other one, it should be. Because the boots are the same. They fit on really easy, no problem. Way different than Series 1. They have a slot in the back for the file card. If you want to cut the file card off. They say Action Force on it. They look real nice, but as I said, mentioned before, they're good and bad. They have a really high uh, base, so they stick out like a sore thumb. But again, I don't really have an issue standing any of my Action Force figures. Uh, here is the hooded mat, the hooded head that every single one of, well, almost every single one of their figures comes with. At least the good guys. It's the exact same face. Obviously, the skin tone is painted differently. And then, as I mentioned before, the numerous amounts of hands. So you have the two thumb wrestling hands. You have two punching hands. And then you have two cupped hands that you would use to hold a rifle. Again, with this figure, he doesn't need to because of the handle on the uh, rifle. Now let's get to the figure. And I'm going to say this. This is the one that everyone is saying is a standout. So far, just looking at it, I think he looks extremely nice. So quickly, we're going to look at the face here. And it looks like Valiverse has toned it down their faces. Where the original series, Series 1, they were so... Just, they had the sheen to it. They were like a credit collection for G.I. Joe. Or not for G.I. Joe, for Star Wars. I didn't like them at all. And so looking at the vest here, I think it looks really nice. Here you have his med pack. You have his knife, which comes out. You have the Valiver symbol. Paint looks really nice. You look at the hook. These are the same types of hooks that you would see like at the gym. I love the fact that they're a specific color, but then the clamp is almost always a different color. Here you have the microphone so he can talk into it. And on the back, I, w I wish you could take this off. That would be really cool. But And then you have, you know, the paint that goes across. It looks really nice. I'm going to try and pull this off in a second. I do like the magazines being on the side here. They are easier to come out than before. I think that has to do with the changing of the plastic that he's using. So let's take a look at it. I will do my gripe again that I do not like these shoulders. As they cause issues, not only do they look bad, it's really the only bad thing that I can complain about, but it presents a pop problem doing the T-pose. And I know some people have said, oh, big deal, but it's huge. If G.I. Joe did that, people would throw a fit about it. So looking at the face here, Something I did want to point out, I think the face looks really nice. It doesn't have a glaze to it, but the hair texture looks really nice. But as you go around, not only is it cut here, so you can tell he has a nice clean shaven, but you can tell that it's faded down, and I think that looks absolutely awesome. I can't think of any figures that I have that have such a nice fade like that. I'm not saying there are none that do that, but... And then even... It's hard to see, but it does look like he kind of has that five o'clock shadow, just a little bit to make it look a little, you know, look a little different. But the eyes look good. Paints exactly where it's supposed to be. That's the one thing I can. Well, that's one of the things you can say about the Valiver so far. The paint looks great. So here we have the bicep swivels. Now I've not heated anything up here. No problem bending. I've mentioned before. 
these things feel way softer. They feel way more like a Hasbro figure now than the original Valiverse figures. He has wrists. You see how the, the hand, the finger just moves? Everything is so much softer. And I will be doing a comparison of the Steel Brigades for Series 1. Here he has his non-ab crunch, which is the... I really wish I could think of what it's called. <laughs> it's basically a rocker. It goes around. He does shift back and forth. So you have your Jean-Claude Van Damme. And it's the drop-down hips. Again, be careful. Drop-down hips can cause problems. Thigh swivel. Knees bending here. No problem. What so much? So you have your boot cut. Ankle rocker. Let's do this knee. Again, no issues whatsoever. Um, I'll mention again, these straps tend to get in the way so they cannot kick their own ass. As I mentioned before, I can't do that, so I'm not overly concerned about that. These things are easy to get in some nice positions. As you can stand them in some pretty nice dynamic poses. If you want, you can normally get them even onto one leg. Like that. And even hit the table. No big issue. And I think it has to do with the big boot that they have. It just really works. There's, when you look at how it's cut, it's cut nicely. You got this big heel that's going to hold up. Then you got the ball of the foot. I like it. I think it works really well. These figures, in all honesty, have gotten better. And I will mention again, they feel more like a Hasbro G.I. Joe figure than the original Valiverse, which I am perfectly fine with. So, I know I'm bouncing all over the place, so bear with me. Here you have the bottom. You know, the sole is painted black. You got the strap, which would have the, uh, the clamp. Nice black, the knee pads. Again, these figures are all the same. Almost all these figures are the exact same. These two figures are the exact same other than the head. And the vest is slightly different. As a matter of fact, it's actually the same vest. But he puts these on it. Which are the ones down here. Puts them where the med pack is and vice versa. So pretty much the same figure. You can army troop, you can army build these if you want by using this mask. All right, and here you have his pistol. It's gonna pop in nice and easy. So there he is. That is the blowback. That is the figure that everyone likes. So now let's get into popping this off. And we're gonna find out if these actually go in any better. So I'm looking at this right now and I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm already aggravated. So I'm looking at this here. It's a softer plastic. It has some mushroom. Let's see if we can actually get it back in because every single one of these that I have popped out so far, I don't think I've been able to get any to go back in and stay. All right, so this one actually went in. It went in really nice. Again, it's a softer plastic. I'll show you here. This is the Series 1 where I had no, there was no way of getting this thing back in. None at all. This thing was never going to go back in without making some modifications. I didn't even bother. So anyway, it looks like these will go in easier. Maybe he cut the head smaller, fabricated it smaller, softer plastic. Possible for me to tell. I don't make toys. But anyway, there is our blowback. Just pop the head off. Head came off nice and easy. If you watch back to my... Uh, uh, BBTS, uh, what is it called? The Steel Brigade guy. This one here, you know, his head just ripped right out because this was not glued properly. So here he is with the hood on. I don't like this because you can see the color of his skin. It just doesn't seem right. You think that if you had this much covered up, you would cover up his neck and everything. I'm not going to wear that anyway. This guy has a face because this guy 
is an actual character. So let's throw in. Oh, I guess we should. Okay, let's go ahead. My bad. All right, so just like with the infantry commando, he has rectified how the hands come out. Super, super easy for these hands coming out. So we will take, we'll use this hand here. I'm going to pop it in. Now, you got to push it in all the way. It's really loose. And this one popped in. It's nice and tight. The last couple series have been absolutely awful. This definitely seems like it has been rectified. I'm very, very happy with the uh, the direction that these figures are going. I can feel just by moving their hands that it's softer. I don't feel like something's going to break. As for the weapons, I'm not sure. I've only had one break, but I do know that that was a huge concern. And trying to pose him may be kind of difficult here at first. Trying to get around his uh, vest and everything can definitely be uh, some problems. The thing that I do love, I'm not a big fan of. So I'm not a big fan of the helmet like this. But I am a big fan of these. I really like the way that looks. So this is blowback. I think he's a wonderful, wonderful looking figure. Let's wrap it up. All right, so there you have it. That's the blowback review. I'm going to apologize for some of the the reviews that I do when it comes to the Valiverse. The figures are so much the exact same, and I mentioned this before, that there's only so much to point out. There's only so many times I can tell you how the articulation moves, how, it, you know. But the fact that these figures feel different. They feel ten times better. The magazines come out easier now. That was always a big gripe, a big problem. It always felt like a finger or a hand was going to break. I broke numerous hands here because the peg was such a problem here. These ones, they bend super easy. No problem. It doesn't feel like they're going to snap. This here is much softer. And we will definitely take a look at it when we get to some of these other ones. Because when I do do the Steel Brigade again, I'm definitely going to show you the original. And we're going to do comparisons. I'm going to look at the new ones, the new head and everything. And then we'll compare them. Because I think everyone really, really, really wants to see that. And see... Is there a difference? I mentioned this before. Repaints are part of this game, and I understand. People will jump down Hasbro about the repaints. I understand. It's an issue with the G.I. Joe that people don't like. But that's how you create revenue. You repaint a figure, so the tooling's already there, and then you're able to increase your budget. Because what people don't realize is when it comes to like something like G.I. Joe, Hasbro may be a billion-dollar company, but G.I. Joe is not a billion-dollar brand. They have to increase their budget, and the way they do it is by, you know, repaints. But when they repaint like the Vipers and Snake Eyes, they're not fixing stuff. Their legs are loose. They don't go back and retool it. The one thing that I can say that Valiverse has done, and Bobby Valiverse has been doing a wonderful job with it, is when he goes back, he listens to complaints, which is crazy because in the community it seems like, those figures are absolutely perfect. So how can you fix something that is perfect? Well, they're not perfect. There's shows out there that just want to say, hey, Valiverse is the greatest. But he goes through and he's fixed things. The fact that this, this plastic feels softer. It feels more like a G.I. Joe figure or a Hasbro figure. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in a playable, poseable way. I don't feel like these are going to snap. No heat was needed. No resistance was there, just good to go. So, anyway, that is blowback. I really do dig this figure. I just used the word dig. I don't know if I've ever used that word dig other than to actually talk about digging. So, anyway, that's it. I'm going to get out of here. You know the drill. I'm going to stand here. Um, you know the drill. Take a second, 
hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Always, always like any of the content of any of the creators that you watch. And make sure you hit that bell notification. The social media is the Punk With Toys on Instagram and Twitter. Facebook group page, which there will be a link to that in this. Punks With Toys, because once you join, you're a punk with toys. Anyway, I'm out of here. Have a wonderful day, and happy toy hunting.